So, Roman has just become the longest reigning universal champion of all time. His title reign is at 505 days. That is truly impressive. A title reign that has solidified him as one of the best to ever do it. Him returning in 2020 to become a heel and we really see his character flourish was truly a sight to see. Long overdue. Enjoyable title reign. Now, apparently, there are reports that Seth Rollins is supposed to end that title reign in 505 days of Roman Reigns being the head of the table. And Seth Rollins is supposed to do that at this year's Royal Rumble? Hmm. Let's talk about that. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I've been hearing rumors about this for quite some time since they announced that Seth Rollins will be facing Roman Reigns at this year's Royal Rumble for the Universal Championship. I've been hearing rumblings, and I've been seeing little posts here and there talking about it. And to be honest with you, I, I'm I'm not really a big fan of this booking decision at all. I'm just keep this a stack. I can't agree with Seth Rollins winning the Universal Championship. Not because he's not deserving of a title opportunity, no. But I think him going against Roman and beating him, it for me, he's not the guy. He's not. He shouldn't be the guy to dethrone him. One, he's a heel. So, I, it doesn't even make sense for a heel to be the guy to dethrone another heel. If you're going to try to dethrone someone of such a legendary title reign or a legendary streak, it should probably be a face if they're a heel. It would only make sense. Just from a psychological story standpoint, it would only make sense. But I just, I don't think he needs it. To be honest with you, Seth Rollins is a made man. We can all agree Seth Rollins has been at the top of the card, rightfully so, for some years now. He's a made man. He is. So him winning this from Roman does not help him like people think it will. Because it doesn't. It's, it's not going to enhance his character. All right, you beat Roman again. We've seen this before, have we not? Yes, we haven't seen you beat this version of Roman, but we've seen this before. And if that's the case, you guys remember, before the draft, Rollins was on SmackDown. So if it was, if that was the situation, then he could have easily just taken down Roman at any point. Before he was feuding with Edge, before he was feuding with Cesaro, he could have taken him out at any point. If we're going to go that route, he should have taken him out at any point. If we're going to have Seth Rollins beat Roman Reigns, that should have been a booking decision, right? It doesn't make sense for now. He get inserted into this match and, and now he's the one, the chosen one to beat Roman Reigns. No, I don't buy it. I don't believe it. And here's the thing that WWE has put themselves into. They have booked themselves into a box and this box doesn't have many options. You got Drew McIntyre and Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar. In my opinion, those are the only individuals that are somewhat viable to beat Roman Reigns. Just being honest with you. That are believable that could possibly do it. Everyone else, no. Everyone else doesn't even come close. Big E, you can hang that shit up. That ship sailed dead kevin owens no who else maybe maybe an aj styles potentially but they haven't really been booking aj styles in no really main event type situations he's kind of been in the mid card as of late so maybe aj styles but once again 
AJ Styles, in my opinion, he could use that rub, but I, I feel like that should go to someone that definitely would be able to benefit and would be the next guy. AJ Styles is not going to be the, the face of the company. I'm sorry. Maybe, like I said, Drew, if they want to give him that rub again, because he never really truly got the rub he deserved at WrestleMania, it could possibly work. Maybe Drew. And, of course, Bobby Lashley. I think Bobby Lashley, Roman Reigns, that would be a fresh matchup. And I think Bobby Lashley could benefit from it. The question being, would he be a heel or a face? I think it would work better if he was a face, just a fighting champion. So, I don't know. But those are the only options. And I don't want to see Brock win it, because what's the point? What's the point of giving Brock the title? What's the point of doing that? He don't need that. Brock's already a made man. It's Brock Lesnar. So WWE has booked themselves because they haven't booked anyone else to potentially take down Roman Reigns. And this is the problem when you let go of your talent. Imagine, imagine if they could have got Keith Lee back on track after the injuries and everything else. They could have booked him as a monstrous individual. And imagine them going at it at WrestleMania for the Universal Championship. We saw a tease of it when he was uh when uh, NXT was part of Survivor Series. We saw that tease of Keith Lee, Roman Reigns, the crowd was amped. Imagine it comes full circle. We see it again. Keith Lee, Roman Reigns, Universal Championship. And you have Keith Lee to throne him. After the Usos get involved, after all the obstacles, he does it. Can you imagine the pop he would get? And he comes off as a believable champion. We would be able to bask in his glory at WrestleMania. You can't tell me that's not a good idea. You can't tell me that ain't great. Or maybe, maybe you do something with Karrion Cross, Have him be a dominant force. He finally aligned, sees himself going against Roman Reigns. But, you know, the Usos, the bloodline is making it hard for him, which ultimately forces him to turn face. Now, I know a lot of people wouldn't like him as a face, but you can make him as a, I wouldn't say a face that's all bubbly and giddy and stuff like that. A face that's like, yeah, he respects other people, but he doesn't have a problem beating your ass. An aggressive face like that, sort of like a tweener doesn't have to attack people from behind he's just he's just there to kick your ass imagine that imagine a matchup of that magnitude building up a newer star to be the top to be the face of the company i'm just saying wwe did this to themselves because they don't have anybody else because they let go of so many people and the talent they do have these guys being pointless feuds. So are we supposed to really care about a Sami Zayn all of a sudden? You remember that little little stint Sami Zayn was supposed to face Roman Reigns? Did, did anyone believe that? Was that even close to being believable? No, Sami Zayn should be definitely a top tier main eventer. You know how that goes. So no, I am not in agreement of Seth Rollins winning because at the end of the day, it does not enhance him any more than he already is. If anything, it ruins Roman Reigns' title reign. I'm sorry, it does. Because that means his title reign that we have seen him beat almost everybody. It all, he loses it to Seth freaking Rollins. Are you serious? Are you kidding me right now? No. You ha have the championship for almost two years. And you telling me you lose to Seth freaking Rollins? No disrespect to Seth, but it's like, are, are we serious? Are we doing this right now? Then what was the point of you beating everybody just to lose to somebody that we already know is a made man? That's the only point I'm trying to get across to you guys and anyone that feels that Seth should win. He should not win this match at the Royal Rumble because he's already made. He is already a made man. Simple as that. And there's no point of putting the championship on someone that has already been solidified as one of the top of the company. If anything, it should be someone that needs that 
that type of rub that needs that type of win to elevate them all the way to the top. Because whoever beats Roman, they should be at the top. No question about it. Because you just don't give that title reign to somebody that's already been there multiple times. It's not Seth Rollins' first rodeo. He's a multi-time champion. He's damn near done it all. There's no point in giving him that 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 title reign. I'm sorry. But comment down below. Let me know. What's your thoughts and opinions on this? Do you guys feel like Seth Rollins should be the guy to beat Roman Reigns at this year's Royal Rumble? Or do you guys think, no, Seth Rollins is not the guy and it should be someone else? And who would you realistically, we're not talking about no fantasy booking if someone was already booked to the stars. We're talking about what WWE has left us with now. Who do you guys realistically think should dethrone Roman Reigns? If you think anyone should. I would love your thoughts and opinions on this conversation. I'm going to be messaging, you know, responding back to some of you guys. And we can have a friendly back and forth. I love these type of videos because I can really communicate with you guys in the comment section. But appreciate all the love and support. Road to 70K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.